You were just in uh, Pittsburgh for Steel City Con. Uh, how does it feel? Uh, much has been written about the fact that, you know, Star Trek was not anywhere near as popular when it was airing as it is now. Is it still surreal to you that fans are so deeply connected to that show? It's 53 years old. We went on the air in 1966, canceled in 1969, exactly 50 years ago. And here we are, 53 years later, with another new Star Trek spinoff with Patrick Stewart and another movie being talked about by with uh, uh, Tarantino. I mean, it's an amazing phenomenon. And people must still be so happy to see you when they go to something like uh, Steel City Con. I greet my fans like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to please them. So we have lived much longer than we expected and prospered in so many wondrous ways, like all these fans. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, this uh, show, A uh, Terror Infamy, this is a much more serious subject matter, and uh, it's based on the internment of Japanese Americans. Uh, there's a supernatural element to it, but this is a very real issue for you, uh, not just being a Japanese American, but you were interned as a child uh, from the ages five to eight, is that right? I just turned five years old. A few weeks after that, my parents got me up very early one morning, dressed us hurriedly, uh, my br uh, brother a year younger, and my baby sister, still a baby, an infant. And uh, my father said to my brother and me, wait here in the living room while uh, we do some last minute packing. So the two of us were just looking out the, uh, gazing out the front window, and suddenly we saw two soldiers marching up our driveway carrying rifles with shiny bayonets on them. They stomped up the porch and with their fists began pounding on the door. I, uh, the way I remember it, the whole house seemed to tremble. And my father came out and uh, answered the door and literally at gunpoint, we were ordered out of our house. And so my father gave my brother and me little packages to carry. He hefted two heavy uh, suitcases and we followed him out onto the driveway and waited for our mother to come out. When she came out, she had our baby sister in one arm, a heavy duffel bag in the other, and tears were streaming down her cheeks. It is a picture that's burnt into my memory. What did you think was happening when being that young in a situation like that? What were your memories at the time of what this was and, and why it was happening? That morning was a terrifying morning. But uh, then we were taken, you know, they, the uh, camps were just being built. So they took us to Santa Anita Racetrack, a uh, nearby racetrack. We were herded over uh, with other Japanese American families to the stable area and assigned a horse stall for us to sleep in. From a two bedroom home, front yard, backyard, on Garnet Street in LA to a horse stall. For my parents, it was a degrading, humiliating, painful experience to take their three children into that smelly horse stall, still pungent with the, and I still remember that smell. But for me, I thought it was fun to sleep where the horses sleep. Yeah. I mean, you know, horses slept here. Sure. I can smell them. Now, how surreal was it for you to return to a set that was built to evoke this time and having such specific memories of it was, I mean, obviously you're coming back at a much better uh, perspective on it, having the control of telling the story, but was it hard for you to walk onto a set and see those camps again? Remember, I was a five-year-old kid and they built on a, a 6.5 acre uh, plot of land, um, an exact replica of uh, the internment camps. The barracks uh, were exactly the way I remembered it. There was a little, a uh, crawl space down below. And I recognize that because we uh, adopted a, a, a black dog, a uh, cute little dog. We named him Blackie. And whenever something uh, scared him, and it's, you know, when gunfire was going off, he got, he got scared and he would scraw, uh, crawl under the uh, uh, crawl space. And we crawled in uh, after him. So, you know, I remember the details. The uh, the, uh, the set designers did tremendous research. The uh, strips of uh, wood that uh, held the, the tar paper on were exactly the same dimensions. So it was, uh, to me, a kind of a nostalgic return. 
because of my childhood experience. But as uh, a teenager, I learned a lot uh, more about uh, the reality, the harrowing experience that, that it was for my parents. And uh, so uh, with both the adult knowledge and the memory of uh, a child, uh, it was an eerie kind of a feeling. 